So I'm thinking of Flousy's book, you know, the Tao the Jing of Flousy or something. It has like different words depending on how you translate it. But anyways, like something that stood out to me is that the wise men, the sages, are basically desireless, right? But in order to be desireless, don't you have to desire to be desireless? Doesn't that make it a paradox or a contradiction or something? You have to desire to be desireless. And like, to what extent does it matter? Like, if you see a shiny rock on the floor and you want it, does that count as like a desire? Does it only count for like big things? Like when you see, I don't know, you want like the newest bag or something. To me, that would be like a big desire, but like small desire would be like a small rock on the floor you know, doesn't belong to anyone and like you just want it so you pick it up, right? Like does that count as a desire? Because like technically, like logically speaking, it does count as a desire but like in this case, would it still count as a desire? Like you know, just want a cute little rock and a little something for yourself. Can you ever truly be desireless? I don't know.